welcome to the stage the 67th Sheriff of Suffolk County, New York, Sheriff Errol Tuon Jr. Thank you for the privilege to be here and talk about an organization that is making our schools safer and protecting children everywhere from harm, whether from gun violence, other crimes, or suicide. As a Suffolk County Sheriff and a former corrections official from Rikers Island, I have witnessed unthinkable violence and human suffering. I was working in New York City when the World Trade Center was attacked. Seeing all of that and then personally battling pancreatic cancer and lymphoma, I made a promise to myself and to God that if I survived, I would do something good in this world. That's when I made the San Diego promise to do all that I can to protect kids from violence. I was struck by how a simple and powerful message like know the signs of a peer in distress and how to seek out help could have a profound and lasting impact on our communities. Inspired by this program, I and some of my officers decided to become Sandy Hook Promise leaders and deliver the program to Suffolk County schools. Suffolk County is a lot like Parkland, Florida and Newtown, Connecticut. Crime is low, we have great schools and caring communities, but as someone that walked countless cell blocks and spent time talking with kids in jail, I can tell you that children's pathways to violence and suicide are inextricably linked to trauma, a lack of mental health support, bullying and abuse, factors that often manifest in high anxiety, aggression, signs of depression, and sometimes a lack of empathy. These issues can lead to escalating behavioral problems in schools and in our neighborhoods. What I love about Sandy Hook Promise is that the programs teach our youth to be empowered bystanders or upstanders, as SHP says. Together, we have trained more than 8,000 students in Suffolk County this year to know the signs and to say something to a trusted adult when they see someone who isn't acting like themselves, could be depressed, or who might be saying things about harming themselves or others. These are the same kinds of ideals that inspired me and so many of my colleagues to go into law enforcement. I'll leave you with a story about how this played out in that one severely at-risk school district and the profound impact it had on me and my staff. We received a call from a nurse at a local elementary school who was worried about some of the kids and their behavior, and so we arranged to do a Say Something presentation. We went back a few weeks later to do another presentation, and the school principal asked to see the assigned officer in private to share this story. A sixth grade girl who had seen the presentation told her mom that her friend was being sexually abused by the mother's boyfriend. The principal went on to explain that the authorities were notified and the girl who was being raped and her mother were moved into a safe house outside the area. This officer then asked the principal if he could stop back into the classroom to visit the student who had stepped up to say something. It was a real emotional moment because the students, who were aware of what had transpired, began to clap and cheer when the officer entered the room. Two weeks later, I visited the same school to meet with all of the fifth and sixth grade students. While I was there, I sat down with the same student. This is a picture of my meeting with this special young lady. I let her know how proud I was that she said something to help a friend. She went on to tell me how afraid she was to reveal what was happening. But she realized after seeing the Sandy Hook Promise presentation, that it wasn't okay to hold all that in. She felt empowered to take action, to help her friend, and she, she did that by telling a trusted adult. I hope that every county, city, and small town in America embraces the Sandy Hook Promise, and that you are all inspired to say something when the moment calls for action. Thank you, and may God bless you.